Welcome to Entertainment with Less. Today I will share with your top 10 celebrities who tried to warn us about Meghan Markle. Number 10, today, John Oliver is here. According to a chillingly exact footage of John Oliver's warning, Meghan Markle and Harry have now come forward to speak their truth in their new documentary series, Meghan and Harry. In 2018, Meghan Markle began to emerge once more. When John Oliver didn't seem enthusiastic about the then imminent royal wedding between, Stephen Colbert would be left feeling just a little puzzled. Five years later, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The CBS featured used old late night show footage with John giving Meghan a repeated caution by saying, is actually starting to make a lot of sense for the video. If she decided to cancel last minute, I would not hold it against her. You don't need need to watch the entire first season of The Crown to get a general idea that she might wed into a family, in my opinion. From They're a bunch of emotionally stunted, essentially damaged individuals working as very stupid waiters, in other words. She is getting married into that. So I'm hoping she like it. The day of the interview will be strange for her. Even John would admit that he wouldn't want to wed into the royal family. Nonetheless, it is stunning that he forewarned the people that she would back out, and that she did not do her royal obligations. She married into the royal family after he forewarned us about it. Number 9, Anyways Queen Elizabeth II. Despite the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visited Queen Elizabeth in the UK in April 2021, the late majesty appeared to be still less. An insider even came out to state that Her Majesty was overjoyed with her grandson's wife. Believes Meghan's attention-seeking antics pose a serious threat to the monarchy as she put Elizabeth to the test in her final days. The egotistical immigrant for separating Harry from his family so he could begin a fresh life in America. Meghan's desire has always been to live in Hollywood and Harry is her ticket there. Also taken note of that Meghan has always been the subject of the Queen's intense suspicion. The rural rulebook has never been something Meghan could accept. Yet, the Queen granted her numerous opportunities because of her grandchild, which she detested. She was duped by the Duchess of Sussex. Also, it was alleged that the Queen believed Meghan had abused her position to advance a political career which the British family strongly disapproves of, eventually, even Queen Elizabeth lost patience with Meghan. She repeatedly thumbed her nose at the royals and let everyone know what was going on within the castle when the Queen was ill. She was furious that Meghan would call the royal family harsh, callous, racist, and even had the temerity to disparage Kate, the wife of Prince William. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number 8, Middleton, Catherine How Meghan Markle treated Catherine Middleton is something she will never forget. She also doesn't need to drag out their feud for years, though. The Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Sussex are rumored to have worn matching robes to Prince Harry's wedding in May 2018 and ever since. According to Kate, the two women's relationship has remained quite strained. She thought it was all so embarrassing. When she learned Meghan was asserting that she was the one who caused her to cry during a disagreement. Kay has never desired for any information regarding a rift with Meghan to be made public to the press. Kate found it extremely difficult to live with Meghan's lies about their relationship, so she tried everything. She was able to conceal her emotions, despite what insiders have alleged. That Kate's and Meghan's accounts of the events are substantially dissimilar. She feels unqualified to answer because of this. She had assumed that everything had been resolved, but Meghan is currently airing all of her dirty laundry. Quite embarrassing for Kate, really. Number 7, Royal William according to a friend of Kate Middleton. That Meghan Markle is the object of Prince William's utter hatred, according to a shocking interview. The Princess of Wales's anonymous pal was quoted in the Daily Beast. Share exactly how much Prince William detests Meghan and attributes his dispute with Prince Harry to her. The source continues by saying that the family primarily blames Meghan for everything. They practically detest her to death. It's a terrible calamity. Growing up, the insider said again. The brothers were so close that their mother passed away and their father stopped being involved. They therefore have this absolutely wonderful connection. 
Everyone warned him off when Megan appeared since they all knew it. He wouldn't, though, and she simply tore him away. This movie is the newest betrayal, and the link is utterly lost. William now despises them both utterly, and the buddy would say even more. Because, in the end, it was very harmful and detrimental to them all. Because they were related to one other and Megan has destroyed their entire family. Number 6, despite making some attempts to patch things up, King Charles, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle continue to express the royal family's complaints. Merely their connection to the royal family. The continued release of their many media initiatives, including Harry's book and the couple's docuseries, appears to be the principal problem at hand since the demise of the Queen. The royals are currently experiencing some serious tensions and Charles is feeling somewhat betrayed. In terms of Meghan's behavior, during Meghan and Harry's wedding in 2018, if you don't remember, Charles agreed to fulfill Meghan's request to escort her down the aisle because her father was unable to attend. Since, at the beginning, he genuinely had been pretty fond of her. But just now, he just seems perplexed. The Queen wasn't very surprised because she had experience dealing with situations like these. It's understandable why Charles is upset about it considering what his son and daughter-in-law have been saying. Well, that was very uncalled for. Meghan was just so ungrateful toward the entire process, it appears, even though the royal family had done so much for them and so much to assist Meghan in adjusting to her royal duties. She simply had no desire to learn how to behave in a royal manner. Number 5, Osborne, Sharon While occasionally, Sharon Osborne hasn't been reluctant to express her views on Harry and Meghan. She has previously stood up for the couple. She even went so far as to admit that she had once felt terrible for the pair before doing a complete 180 and criticizing them for their insulting docuseries. Sharon had had enough of Meghan acting like the victim, in her opinion. That rather than complaining about how the media and the royal family have treated her, Meghan should be using her platform to promote her charity. Sharon will continue by claiming that Meghan's behavior is unacceptable and that the only thing she ever discusses is being mistreated. Because of her race and the way she behaves, Sharon will eventually find out that Meghan need to be thankful instead. She has to get a life and move on already because she has a wonderful life, a lovely family, and she's deeply in love. This is evident in every interview Meghan and Harry conduct with her. They appear to do nothing but complain. How none of their stories have any merit or evidence to support them. Sharon mostly just thinks about their stories. While the press can be harsh on Meghan, they are lying. They were harsh on so many individuals, including the rest of the royal family, when Elizabeth first arrived in England. Number 4, Jonathan Clarkson prior to December in a rather nasty post about Meghan in the Sun, Jeremy Clarkson said that the Duchess of Sussex was the object of his cellular hatred. Jeremy would allude to a well-known passage from Game of Thrones about a writer who worked at night. I can't sleep because I'm lying there, gritting my teeth and daydreaming. When Meghan Markle is obliged to go through every town in Britain in public while unclothed. In a published tweet, it was stated that the mobs are yelling, shame, and throwing feces at the victim. Jeremy would call it following the publication of the piece. A crude allusion to the scene from Game of Thrones was made, and it was acknowledged that it had not gone over well with many people. I was appalled to cause so much pain, Jeremy would then say. With the publication of Meghan and Harry's, I'll be even more cautious in the future. The pair would discuss the threats they received on social media in recent years in a Netflix exclusive series. Jeremy's article would then almost immediately provoke criticism from Britons. Jeremy was open with his sentiments toward Meghan and Harry. Number 3, Stern, Howard Howard Stern, a popular American radio DJ, criticized Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for their new documentary series, calling them whiny bees after the first three episodes were released on Netflix. Revelations would be made about everything, including the couple's first date with Princess Diana and alleged prejudice in the UK. Howard, though, was obviously unimpressed with the show. He would criticize the couple, claiming that the show is quite strange for a couple who has previously appealed for seclusion. 
Royals were able to keep their royal titles, and they frequently released comments claiming that seclusion was not the reason they left the royal family. They began by questioning the purpose of the series. Things he outlined. Similar like watching the Kardashians, yet different. Watching Howard speak was tedious. It's been painful, so I wouldn't continue. But my wife wants to watch it you know. We watch certain programs. Nonetheless, they come across as such whiny bees. I must tell you that. Just not understanding it from the beginning to the conclusion, those two whine about well, there is nothing authentic about their connection. They dislike me too, and. She desires the love of this rural man. Oh dude. Simply said, seeing two individuals scream is really strange. We wanted our privacy and for the media to keep quiet about us. But then we noticed that they all posted every detail of their life on Netflix. Then Howard personally, I just don't understand it. Number 2, Portia Morgan Piers Morgan, who criticized the Duchess after the Prince spoke to the United Nations on Nelson Mandela Day, has labeled Meghan Markle as being manipulative and domineering. The severe takedown from Piers would be justified if the Good Morning Britain claimed that Meghan was making every effort to advance socially, and that it is obvious that she is a two-faced phony. Meghan gained a second victory after the publisher fought for an appeal in the case well described by Meghan after she won her shocking privacy legal battle with the publisher of the Mail over a letter she wrote to her estranged father. It not only being a victory for her but for anyone who felt scared to stand up for what's right in a powerful statement afterwards throughout the privacy case. The revelation that Meghan wrote the letter to her father with the knowledge that it would be leaked was one of several shocking developments. Piers, however, rebuffed Meghan's assertions and made fun of her for pretending to be writing a letter to her father. Instead of a jobless actress taking advantage of her unelected spouse, Winston Churchill inspired a country during World War II. From her California home, she had royal status and millions. Number 1, Elizabeth Frankel Bethany Frankel frequently escalates her criticism of Meghan Markle, claiming that after leaving the royal family, Meghan has put herself in a difficult situation. According to Bethany, time is crucial. Play chess instead of checkers and don't think you owe crap. According to Bethany, Meghan claims to be in a dreadful circumstance. That she messed it all up when she and Prince Harry retire from their senior royal roles in 2020. In terms of her entire life lived outside the royal sphere, Bethany would also be aware that Meghan is divisive and that we shouldn't interpret her actions in the wrong way. Meghan resembles a housewife in many ways. She keeps talking about how she wants to be everything, which is meaningless. Bethany would likewise declare. When Meghan departed the royal household, she ought to have gained knowledge. She only wanted to quit the royal family, that's all. She ought to have just quit the royal household. However, we hear her chatting about every interview and the royal family. Yet until recently, she had never wanted to play the royal family game. In order to play by her own rules, she quit the royal family. It honestly takes more energy not to forgive. Meghan, though, keeps clinging to her judges and outing them. The royal family in a very patronizing manner. Thanks for watching. Number 8.